So today I'm gonna to show you how to create additional virtual debit cards on your Relay Business bank account. Now we're gonna hop over here on the desktop so you can follow along step by step. I'm gonna go ahead and remove my face off screen here so you can just see the entire screen all together. Now we're currently on the home tab of our Relay Business bank account and we wanna go over here where you could see it says cards. We're gonna click on this section and go to that next page. So now that we're over here on the cards tab, you can see up here it says cards. If we go ahead and look all the way to the right hand side, there's gonna be this section that says create card. But before we do that, just as a heads up, you can see all the current cards you have active or inactive right over here. So it shows you all the cards, which account they are connected to the card holder, any daily limits you set or even monthly limits as well as any additional restrictions. I'm gonna show you also how to do that when we're creating our new card, which we're gonna go ahead and do by clicking the top right hand corner over here that says create card. So now this will bring up a pop-up menu right over here and you can choose to either do a virtual card or a physical card, keeping in mind that the physical card takes anywhere from eight to 10 business days to come in, but the virtual card can be given automatically for us. So whichever one works out best for you, that's the one we wanna go ahead and choose. So for example, let's go ahead and say we wanna do a virtual card. We're gonna go ahead and click on the next button that's over here on the bottom right hand side. And that's gonna bring us to this new page right here where it says create our virtual card. First, we're gonna go ahead and give this any kind of nickname we want. It could be a vendor name, it could be a category name, whatever works best for you. And it can change as well if you need to. And then as far as card access, you can actually choose if this is a shared card between multiple different people in the business or if you want it to be associated with one person individually. You could check box either one of those. And then the primary card holder, this is gonna be a drop down menu of any people that are already on the bank account. Now, if you don't have people on the bank account, you will need to add them as part of your team, which I'll show you how to do at the end of this video. Now, as we keep scrolling down, there's a few more things we need to check off here before we can complete this. One of which is going to be the source of the account that is being pulled from. So if you have multiple checking accounts, you can choose whichever account, it will be a drop down menu. And also if you do need to add more accounts, we will show you how to do that in a future video as well. So you can make sure if you you want to have a marketing account, if you want to make sure you have a tax account, you can have multiple different types and you can choose where that debit card is being pulled from. Now, probably one of the best features of this as well too, is that you can have spending controls. So you can actually set vendor or category restrictions. So you could toggle that on for you. So if you only want to make sure that they're utilizing it in certain places, it makes it a lot easier to manage. And you also do have the opportunity to set custom spending limits. This is also really great to make sure that somebody's not overspending a certain dollar amount, especially if things are being budgeted properly. You can see there is the toggle over here so you can choose how much that is going to be. Now, once you fill out everything, you're going to see everything that is going to require something to be filled out with the little asterisks there. Not everything needs to be filled in. And once you do all of those things, the next button right over here on the bottom right will be highlighted. So you can go ahead and click on next. And once you hit that next button, your virtual debit card will be officially created. And like I mentioned, you might actually need to go ahead and add a team member onto your Relay Business Bank account to be able to create that virtual debit card specifically for them. And no worries, we got you covered right over here on screen. We're going to post that video so you can see step-by-step -step on how to add a team member to your Relay Business bank account.